All right, a lot of kids still on summer break, and that means you better hurry and get out to Wild Life World Zoo before school starts, or at least you go on weekends. But uh, Christy Morkin is here with this little guy that loves to eat sugar and can fly from tree to tree. It's a sugar glider. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, that thing is cute. I know. These are just one of the cutest animals. Her name is Sage, and these guys are actually marsupials, so they're related to koala bears and kangaroos. Really? Okay. So and like them, they'll have a little pouch. Oh, really? Yeah. And they have really big eyes, so I guess they can see very well at night. They can. This is a nocturnal animal, and uh, they have a really, really uh, quick uh, gestation period. So they're only pregnant for 16 days. Okay. So you can imagine at 16 days, the joey is born very underdeveloped. And when the joey is born, the mother will actually lick a little trail into her pouch so the joey can follow the scent. Oh, really? It'll crawl into the pouch, and in that pouch is where it'll do the majority of its developing. It'll stay in there for about 40 days, and then after that, it'll start to venture out, and you'll start to see it. And then at about 60 to 80 days, it's fully weaned. Okay. So it loves sugar, which would mean it eats what out in the wild? So in the wild, they are omnivores. They eat a variety of different things. Let's see if... Uh, it wants any other treats. Now, they're going to eat a lot of nectar. Uh, they'll eat a lot of fruit, mm -hmm. honey, different things that are very high in sugar. They have very fast metabolisms, but they also eat protein and they'll get that oh, from really? bugs. They'll get that from uh, eggs. Tell us, a, tell us about it flying. So these guys are amazing gliders. Now, they have little membranes of skin, little flaps that I extend see that. from the wrist to the ankle and they can actually glide over a hundred and forty feet. Wow, kind of that is some. That gliding right now, and you can see those flaps. Yeah, that is really cool. Oh my gosh! Uh, so I'm guessing if she took off from this table, we may not find her for a while or yeah, days. <laughs> so she's really, really fast. Now she looks like it. They're really agile. The tail. Let's see if I can show you that. It's about seven inches long. Okay. So that tail they'll use like a rotor. They can actually change direction and move. Really? Air. Oh my gosh. So very long tail. And uh, it's going to help them when they're gliding in the trees. And she also has very sharp claws. And those claws are going to help her grasp onto the branches in the trees okay. to ensure that she can hang on safely and doesn't fall down. Now, tell us why she would not make a good pet for people. So these guys, you're starting to see them more and more in the pet trade. And they are extremely high maintenance. They're very social creatures. And they need something to bond to. Typically, they're going to have little family groups, little units out in the wild. And uh, if you get two, they're going to bond to each other. They're not going to want to be held or anything to do with people. If you get one, you have to be able to dedicate your life to a little sugar glider. It has to be <laughs> your with whole you life, huh? All the time. And they're nocturnal, so you have to keep that in mind. So at night, they would be very lonely. What do you guys do at the zoo? Just people handle them all the time? Yes. So she's part of our education department, mm -hmm. and uh, she is with someone almost all day day long really? and she's very bonded to that person really yes all right well christy thank you so much it's always a pleasure yes. and that one's adorable i know she loves her pouch being a <laughs> i can see and that being turtle i think she's ready for a nap i can see that thank you <laughs> thank you